to Butte, August 22nd of 21. So this race is normally on July 4th, but because of COVID restrictions, it was switched to August, which worked out best. I think for us, the weather was great. It wasn't hot and it was overcast the whole time. This race, um, they also had a four mile walk and a 5k run walk. Um, face masks were required for the shuttle, uh, finisher area, and beginner area as well. I didn't go to the packet pickup. They mailed my stuff to me. <laughs> and from what Audrey said, it was very confusing to get your packet. Nobody knew where anything was. So that was kind of funny. Um, for this race, it was also $25. Uh, I did not get the shirt because I didn't want to pay $12 for one. No medals for this race. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's kind of one how it is normally priced as well, even pre-COVID kind of era. Um, but I would kind of do this again. I kind of want to see what it's like in July. I enjoyed this race. It was not too bad. The hill actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So that was nice. Uh, so we got there at probably 7.30, I believe. Um, the, I didn't even see anybody starting the 5K. So maybe we missed them. But yeah, we 8 a.m. at the 10K. They dropped us off on the bus. It was kind of a nice place to warm up. Plenty of porta potties. It was not crowded whatsoever. But again, that is not normal. The finish expo was kind of humorous. There wasn't really anybody around. No goodie bags. They were just handing out bottles of water and tea. There was a lowly DJ. They were handing out bread samples. Thank you, Great Harvest, for the free loaf of bread. That company is amazing, and I love supporting them. Uh, that was kind of the only places that I really saw that were even doing stuff or handing out things. There's, of course, your bananas at the finish area as well, but didn't grab one of those. Um, and I'm just scrolling down to kind of where it talks about the distance and the maps. I wish it talked about the elevation on here, but it really doesn't. But yeah, started at Spencer Butte School, and then you want, ran up um, towards the hill. And again, I wish it really talked about the altitude on this, but it doesn't. That's okay, though. But you can see you start in the South Hills, and then you run down to 5th Street, and it was a nice course. It kind of interweaved along where the Eugene Marathon runs. It's like half the time we're like oh my gosh, this is part of the Eugene Marathon course, except you miss that hill by campus, which is nice. <laughs> I don't mind missing that hill. It's always the dreaded kind of part of the full marathon or half marathon during the Eugene weekend. But again, overall, I like to beat to beat, and I hope that they do it next year. <laughs> Tequila shots. <laughs> I'll take yes, water shot. Races and regional races at eclecticedgeracing.com. There's Paul, Paul Ankerbacher, the star Lambert. Here's Audrey, Audrey Blankenship. Nice work, Audrey. Like the banana guy.
smaller running events are working out for us. Last. <laughs> There's free bread. Oh my gosh. What a plan. I'm going to bring a loaf of bread. After race thoughts. That was a good race. I honestly will do the hood, the do Butte to Butte July 4th, maybe next year when it's a normal Butte to Butte race. It was nice being with Audrey who's done this one before and she's like, there's no people here. And she's like, normally this is so packed. And you know, so it's interesting. Like I'm really grateful that we were still able to have Butte to Butte, you know, and that some people came out for this event. Um, so that's obviously awesome. And it'll be interesting to see kind of like how running kind of is going to evolve from here on out, especially with the Delta variant and everything happening. Like what's like, what's going to happen with races that are coming up? Who knows? Who knows? But I think this was a really good test run to do before Hood to Coast because we start running that on Friday. Um, and that's just going to be insane. It's like, I keep talking to Audrey about it. It's like, I've done one relay race before, but it was nowhere near this amount of distance and people and it just seems so confusing to me <laughs> but it's gonna be good you know we'll see how it goes so I'm excited for Head to Coast I'm very nervous about it and I have like a fear of like porta potty bathrooms so huh it's gonna be rough y'all but yeah so hopefully two more runs in before Head to Coast and then Hood to Coast. So I'm really excited about that. This is Hood to Coast has been a bucket list race for me. So I'm excited to actually experience what it's going to be like and definitely want to do more races. You know, I'm just getting like doing this running event definitely got that like bug back in me where you just want to do more and more running events. And you're like, that was awesome. And that wasn't that bad. And I could totally do more than this. So yeah, I'm... here we go. Running is back. No more canceling! <laughs> We're doing it! Oh my god. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, and I saw one of my track kids too. She's one of our long distance runners at the high school. Um, and it was really nice seeing her. I got like a cup of water from her. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, hi. Like, I'll see you in like, gosh, two weeks. School starts so soon. So that was nice to see her. It gets me excited for track and field. I miss the kids so much. I really wish I was doing cross country as well coaching. We just don't, they don't really need an assistant coach for that. I might volunteer just so I can hang out with them. <laughs> we hang out with the kids. Um, so yeah, running's back. I'm so excited. So yeah, yeah. Okay, that was it for now. I'm going to go shower and sleep and eat and do all 